Carter Road near Orange Blossom Trail. Channel 9's George Estevez is live at the scene now with more on what happened. George? Bob, tonight work here at the Florida Rock Industries plant has stopped. Right now, we're standing in front of one of those support cables you were just talking about. The fire department says it snapped under pressure and caused that tower to collapse. Big metal thing broke in half when it fell, just dropped down. Angel Morales lives next door to the Florida Rock Industries plant and ran outside when he heard the commotion. I opened the front door and, and saw out some noise, some metal breaking, and I looked towards the tower and the tower just clapped down. Twisted metal is all that's left of a communications tower that once stood nearly 500 feet into the air. The tower fell on this man, a Florida Rock employee who was operating a forklift. A rescue helicopter took away the second victim who was on the ground when the tower collapsed. He suffered a blow to the head. The fire department says the tower came down after a semi struck one of the guide wires. At that point, some uh, caused the tower to fail and the 465-foot tower came down within the yard. Channel 9 has learned all the cables on each of the four posts which hold up the tower were replaced less than two years ago. The collapse did break down radio communications for rural metro, but a spokesperson says ambulance service was not interrupted and they were up and running in less than five minutes. Meanwhile, back at the plant, work stopped Thursday night as employees focused on their two colleagues hurt in this accident. Right now, the victim that was flown out of here is at ORMC. We're told he left here in critical condition. As for the investigation into what happened here, that starts tomorrow. We're live in Orlando. George Estevez, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.